guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a DIY frame TV hack. The idea is that it will look like a frame TV, but you're making it from your regular TV. The idea is we're gonna frame out your regular smart TV. If you don't have a smart TV, you can buy um, a fire stick or a smart TV stick that allows you to put YouTube up on your TV. Um, and the idea is that this would allow you to display art on your TV and make it look like a picture frame but only for a few hours at a time, whereas the actual frame TV can display art all the time. They have different power settings and screen settings that don't ruin your TV for the Samsung frame TV. So this one's gonna be a little different. It's just a cheap alternative um, if you just have an old TV that you wanna spruce up a little bit and put on for some ambiance or you have guests over. So hopefully you enjoy this little hack. Here is everything that we've got for this project so far. So we've got this smart TV, a miter box. This is chair rail. I will try and put up a picture of exactly what I bought. Then these are gonna hold the frame together so it's not flimsy. And then these screws are too big so I got some smaller ones. We've got the trusty miter box. And then I bought some other options for holding the frame to the TV once it's finished, but I think we need to see how this goes before we decide what we wanna go with. I also think I'm gonna go downstairs and grab some whip glue. My helpers are ready. They are prepared for this task at hand. Look, she's passing it to me already. I'm just holding the chair rail up to the TV so we can see how we are going to have the molding. So you can see this thicker piece of the trim is on the outer edge of the TV. So I drew on the little pencil mark to show how this first cut is going to be. You can see that it's going angling inwards. I'm going to cut that first before I even go ahead and worry about the other side. I just want to make sure that the measurements are exact. I'm doing this in the kitchen. I didn't want to lug any power tools out. So we're going to use the miter box. I've got it on an old towel to protect the floor and make it easier for cleanup. You can see I've got my piece of chair rail here. Got my line aligned with this edge. And when I go to cut it, I'm just gonna press it down nice and tight so it doesn't budge and then take the saw and put it in here. We have our first cut ready. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure from this end of the TV to this end of the TV. Then we're gonna take that measurement and we're gonna go from this point right here, measure all the way along. And when we get to that end point of the measurement, we're gonna mark it and we're gonna cut on an angle like this. So it's gonna be a mirror image of this side. I'm just correcting myself here. So you don't wanna measure from up here. You want to measure from here. You don't want this black frame of the TV to show. You only want the screen to show. So you want the frame covering this black border. I have my first piece done and now we need to do it again. And if you've never done this before, something that always confused me when I first started cutting trim is that this is the off cut and it's a diagonal. So you would assume that you could just carry on and use it, but you can't. When you look at this piece, our longest edges of the angle are always the thicker, fatter part of the trim on both ends. And on this piece, it is the opposite. The part that's further in is the fat part and the skinnier part is the part that sticks out. So what you need to do is you need to cut another angle to cut a little triangle off and then you can measure from there again for your next piece. We have our two pieces of trim finished, the top and the bottom, and now we're gonna repeat the same steps with the sides. I have all of my pieces cut still using the dirty old towel um and now we're going to use these corner pieces to strengthen this so i'm probably going to put in the one side first apply a little bit of wood glue to this inner edge maybe use a little painter's tape and then screw in the other sides just to make sure it's extra strong and there's no slipping while i do it
I got all of the edges together and reinforced with those metal brackets and it will be even stronger once the wood glue dries. You may want to use a little bit of wood filler in the corner seams because I don't expect anyone's to be perfect. And if you add a little wood filler, they will look even better. I wanted to show you the situation. We're having a little bit of a problem. So I didn't think about the legs when I was doing this. So the legs go out on an angle on my TV. So when I put this on there, you can see it's like sticking out. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is make it a little bit shorter and um, it'll cover a little tiny strip of the bottom of the TV, but I'm okay with that. Just wanted to let you guys know, hopefully your TV is not problematic. I could bring it out and put spacing blocks, but I decided I didn't think that would look as good. I have the frame perfectly lined up with the edge of the screen, kind of where my finger is. And then I took a pencil to the back, so I can mark on the back of the frame where the TV ends, so I know where to mount a little strip to hold it there. I've been trying to figure out how to attach this frame to the TV. So I think the easiest approach, if you don't care about your TV, is to use this Velcro. It's sticky, so you would attach one of the strips to your frame, one to the front of the TV, and it would stick on. I don't necessarily want to do that. So what I'm doing, as I found some scrap wood in the basement, I had some cord around, and I drew this line where the top of the TV is, and I'm gonna put the cord around on there perfectly in the middle, so this will act like a little ledge for it to sit on, and then I think I'll use some extra Velcro to the back of the TV, just as an extra measure. I had a few incidents with this, but I added this little ledge on the back, just wanted to show you, um, Probably a lot easier if it wasn't quarter round, but I was just trying to use what I had and it's definitely not gonna be seen. So I think it's gonna work out fine. The quarter round is actually holding it on really steadily. So I'm not gonna add anything else. I think that actually worked out perfect. Um, just because I don't think the TV is gonna be bumped, but if you think you need something a little bit stronger than that, by all means, go for it. Lily is very interested in this, so I thought I would show you. So you go to YouTube, oops. This TV is a little bit slower than my other TV, but that is okay, it still works. Um, and then you search. Oops. Vintage art TV. And there's a whole channel and there's a bunch of different pieces of art. So the one I was using for Instagram was Country Cottage. I think the videos are only an hour long and the art changes. Let's see how long. Every eight minutes it seems or something along those lines. So I would advise not to use it like every day, but if you had like company over that sort of thing. I think it works out pretty well and there's no audio. Um, it's just silence. So it's not ruining your screen or anything like that, but I think it's a nice option. Here's how it turned out. It looks so good. Really, really happy with it. I'm happy with the frame I picked as well. I think that was a great choice. It cannot live here. That mirror is precariously placed right now. Honestly, it's so sketchy. I'd have to hang the mirror up. I mean, it is a good option um, in the future if we wanted a TV in here. I mean, maybe I will do this over the winter because we have our other frame TV in here, but the plan is to put it back in the kitchen. But I think you can see it really well from bed. It, it, this is going to go in the bonus room. I just, um, it's not finished and I wanted to shoot this for Instagram ASAP. And then I guess you would also put the cord a little bit better down the side. I think if you put an extension cord that was white and like put it really close to the mantle, that would work perfectly.